So that just shows you that there are a lot of things that um, are still up for debate in the whole world of nutrition anyway. So take everything with a grain of salt, including what I'm saying to you. Um, I'm just speaking to you from experience, practical experience, and long-time research on this subject. So, uh, moving on. <laughs> um, highest nutrients and best um, form is the fresh. And next I would go fresh frozen as far as fruits go and veggies. And uh, then I would go to steamed or boiled veggies and whole grains. And some of the better grains are amaranth, millet, and quinoa. Um, I still like to use a lot of brown or wild rice. I think that it's a very nourishing food as well. Um, and I know some people have grain sens sensitivities, so you'll have to figure those out yourself. But steamed or boiled veggies, I like to put when I boil veggies, a little bit of water in the bottom of the bowl and, um, or in the bottom of the pan and let it steam the ones that are on top. I don't stir it or anything. And that way, you have some boiled and some steamed veggies. <laughs> and um, there's a lot of nutrients in your steamed veggies still, including a lot of minerals, which are the building blocks of many vitamins. Okay, a few tips just on the way to do your add-ins and about eating foods in a different way. Eat greens before fruits and eat fruits before fats. And the reason why is because of nutrient density. Um, there's a book called The Pleasure Trap that talks about this in detail, but it comes down to if you eat your foods um, high sugar, high fat first, you won't crave the things that have less sugar and less fat in them later because they create less of a dopamine response in your body, which makes you just want to continue to eat those high density foods, the ones that are just packed with calories and maybe some nutrients too, but mostly fat and sugar. Um, so. If you eat your greens first, they're going to taste good and you're going to enjoy eating them and then eat your fruits next and then you can always go to more dense foods like grains and um, fats and things like that. Um, another tip, eat fruits before your first meal or make them the main choice before lunch. So one way to add in foods is by adding fruits in before your first meals or your second meals or third meals and just give yourself like 10, 15, 20 minutes to let them digest. If you have an empty stomach and you eat some fruit, especially what I'm talking about is eat one kind of fruit before a meal, um, it should actually get your digestion going and your body should take it up really quickly as long as you haven't eaten anything too closely before the fruits. You can always eat stuff more easily after the fruits, but you just want to give it a few minutes to digest if your digestion is really quick and maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes if your digestion is slow, which will improve over time. Okay. Start with a small amount of fruits before breakfast and then advance into eating enough for breakfast. So you might start off maybe one morning eating a couple of oranges before oatmeal, for example. And um, then you might advance to eating like four apples um, and uh, a few dates or something for your breakfast. Um, just an example of how your changes advance into you eating more of the thing that's good for you and less of what's not good for you. And uh, give yourself a break one day a week. For example, if you think it's too hard to even think about this all the time, then take a day or two a week, maybe the weekends or maybe Sunday or something like that, or Monday even, and just say, I'm gonna eat whatever I want to eat today and I'm not gonna even think about it. Um, good news is, over time, your body is going to crave the foods that you've been giving it that are good for it. So. In conclusion, by adding foods in, you will begin to crave those foods. Your body craves what you eat. And this is true, and you'll find out the more that you eat things that are good for you, too. And by adding more good food into your body, your body will start to tell you what it likes the best for optimal function. So as you eat these better foods, your body's going to start to notice you're getting more water content in your body, you're getting more good fats, you're getting more um, easily digestible foods and more bioavailable nutrients. And it's going to say, oh, okay, I want celery today. So you'll give it celery in the form of a smoothie with bananas maybe, or you can juice it or just eat it just like this because it's perfect just like this. Carrots, just throwing out some good ideas. Colorado peaches, local is best when it's available. And um, watermelons, this one is unfortunately probably not from the United States, but uh, it is a watermelon. It doesn't even say, oh, it's from the USA. Yay. <laughs> and
last but not least, <laughs> and certainly not last at all, uh, is kiwis. Kiwis are really good too. You can even eat the skins, but I'd buy organic if you're going to do that. And in conclusion, let every day be another adventure in health.